Super excited today. We're finally filming and talking about the Kajivas. Now, you guys might remember a few months back, we did the Kajiva dirt bikes from overseas. So we had a crate shipped to us with these crazy dirt bikes that most people have actually never seen. All right, what do we got in here? Look at that. Little elephant. Why is this thing cleaner than most of the bikes in Tucson? It really is clean. Kajiva action. So today we're gonna to talk about Alberto's dream builds. He actually sent me a detailed drawing. I, I swear to God, Alberto is an artist. Alberto, if you're an artist, can you please just comment and let us know because these drawings are unbelievable. It's not every day you get a customer that says they want a bike and they actually draw you a roadmap. So I'm gonna show you guys some screenshots of what I'm looking at on my computer right now. Let's get into the video. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what we're gonna be building. Now you guys are probably wondering, you're like, who is this Alberto guy? What a, couple of really badass builds for him. The first one was a Honda CRF Trek conversion. The second order that he placed, he had this crazy idea. I'm actually going to insert a clip of that. This was the Trizilla. So we took an RMG 450, stuck a CRF 500 motor in it, built his version of what Suzuki should be building as a big bore Trek. <laughs> super excited to share with you guys what he is showing me for his plans and basically what he's having us build for his bike. All right guys, so I'm gonna insert the first slide that he sent me. This thing, this thing is wild. So let's get, let's get started. So guys, right here, we've got the Bill Kayla and Team BBC's Italian Challenge. It, it, it's just hilarious, um, the artwork that he has on here. And my, my favorite part of this, he says, or do we chicken out? And he shows a little chicken running, so. He's quite the guy, that's all I'm gonna say. And uh, more or less, he just says that we wanna basically include some of the characteristics of the Tricky Dick Kajiba that was built back in the uh, in the 80s and uh, put our twist on it. So we're super pumped on that. All right guys, when you get down to the uh, the mainframe and tank, I knew right away, I was like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go buy a dirt bike and hack it up for these Kajiba motors. I was like, this needs to be done right. So originally when I quoted this build out for them, it basically was like, we're gonna build you a custom frame. Problem with that was it took me a year to get to that point. And we already had the Banshee build plan before his builds. So my big grand plan of how we were gonna pull this off, I wanted to do the Banshee based on the YZ frame. It's just a great platform. It's very similar to like the modern KTM chassis um, where they run the chrome alloy frames. Our frame was gonna be a twist of YZ geometry, a little bit of KTM geometry, and a lot of Honda parts, let's put it that way. Now that we have our fixture done, I've been working on that with the Banshee trike, we can basically take the top half of the frame, we can use that for any motor that we want, and just change the lower rails out, we can change the head tube angle, we can change everything. It's, if we wanna run a CRF shock and linkage, if we wanna run a YZ shock and linkage, it's, it's completely, up to us it's it's really that's why we needed to get to the point of actually building frames so we can do crazy projects like this let's continue on all right guys mainframe and tank so he wants us to run an mc450 gas tank and shrouds which is going to look sick um so we've got the red mares red mare fenders obviously the the gas gas we're talking about the gas gas tank and shrouds he says the idea for the bbc frame to firmly support the 250 could be the engine with style it can also build custom carbon fiber frame protectors as seen in the picture and the gas gas so he just took a gas gas in this picture i didn't expect him to hand draw a frame all right guys that was another reasoning for doing our own frame because we can actually swap the gas tank out um, ktm does have a killer gas tank design on the gas gas ktm and the husky YZ tank, you know, we can buy those from Clark. Um, Drew and I have been talking, we're gonna be doing some aluminum gas tanks also. There's a lot coming in the future. Let's move on to the next slide. All right, so he's basically talking about the tank decals and the design. So right here he says the decals are the latest and more modern decals from Kijivo with the latest elephant logo. So basically he's saying he wants to update it to their current logo or the more modern logo that they have. He's talking about the different colors, true Kajiva green, light gray, darker red. He's talking about how he's got the darker red inlaid against the brighter red. And it, it's amazing the detail he goes into. He has arrows drawn, he has everything 
basically laid out. Um, I actually really like the BBC Kajiba logo that he drew up. It's just awesome. And right here, my favorite part is the idea is to create straight, straight pointed lines that follow the forward track movement during a sense of speed. He's not wrong, guys. I mean, we've been doing graphics for years, and I really, Alberto, again, just comment if you're a graphic designer because maybe you can draw our graphics for us, but this is awesome. So he, he, he's not wrong. We, we've done a lot of graphics kits, and you can really make a bike, make or break a bike with a graphics kit. All right, guys, let's move on to the fenders and seat. So right here, we've got a TRX 450R seat in plastic. He does mention the Kawasaki one. I'm not gonna go with the Kawasaki one. Um, I just, I have it in my head. I know, I think what's gonna work best. And for this bike with that gas tank, that TRX seat in plastic is gonna work best. So right there here, he nailed that. He has that, he has that figured out. I like how he did the red grab bar. Now I know it says or KFX 450R because the Tricky Dick had the uh, original Takati Fender, but again, in our case, the, uh, the Honda seat's just gonna work better. We can manipulate it a little bit more and make it look right. So I'm gonna go four works. I'm hoping to God they have true Kajiba green because we've gotta pull this build out for Alberto. If not, we may, uh, we may have to find somebody else, but we'll find out. All right guys, time to talk about the front fender and the number plate. So let's insert that slide in. See what Alberto has uh, up his sleeves here. So this logo is badass again. He's got the BBC with the Kajiba and the number one. I love his little cartoon figures on here. So right here, guys, as always, the 1986 200 X Fender, you just can't beat it. Um, so he's got that on here with the custom graphics. I like how he has the, uh, the flag and the number one. We've got a number plate here with a full wrap that's gonna say 250 WMX in the top right. Obviously, we've got the Kajiba logos and all that, so I'm gonna have to get with Bear and make sure that those can match up with the uh, the gas gas shrouds. But he's right on par with this build, guys. I mean, this thing is gonna look killer. All right, so you don't have a bike without suspension. I'm sure you guys kind of got a preview in the last couple of clips of what suspension brand we're coming with, so let's check that out. All right, guys, so right here, we've got our triple clamps powder coated satin black. We've got our swing arm. We're gonna go with the true Kajiva green. So I'm gonna play around with a couple color samples for powder coat to make that happen. It's my favorite part of the build, just like his Trizilla that we did. We have Owen suspension. Um, if you guys haven't heard of the Owen suspension, it's it's amazing. You know, we're, we're possibly gonna be working with them in the future when we do our own chassis. We uh, obviously will be offering, let's say, takeoff showas and other brand suspension, but. It's really cool to see that he wants Owens. It's not cheap to do this. It's more or less for him. He's going with the best possible parts for his dream bike. So this is the part where I cringe a little bit because I gotta make sure we find somebody that can do the correct coatings on this. So right here, he wants gold anodized polished metal. So we're gonna have to figure out if we can find somebody that can perfectly do the gold because I don't want to get into powder coating gold, like getting anodized gold, and they just don't match. Sometimes it's better to just powder coat everything. Um, I'm not a big fan of powder coated axles. However, I will do it. Um, I'm also not going to ride the bike because I don't want to get one little chip on that powder coat. But my goal here is going to be to be very careful with matching up the gold. I've been powder coating for years and years, and you guys don't know this, but we used to do a lot of restorations way back before we got into like CNC machining and fabricating. So I've tried every gold there is on the market. Translucent gold, if you're not careful when you spray that, if you spray it on a rim and you go around the top of the rim and you bake that rim, usually the gold will actually run and it'll be a little bit darker on one half of the wheel. I'm gonna experiment with this one and make sure that doesn't happen. That's why you guys generally see us using the gold metallic. It just works amazing. We've had great luck with that. But this part here, we're gonna, we're gonna do some experimenting on the, on the coatings and try to make sure this bike is matched with the correct goal all through. All right guys, onto the brakes, calipers and rotors. So right here he's want, he wants uh, Brembo and again, his cartoon picture is, is hilarious. He's, uh, he's dripping some sweat there, he's getting warm, he's getting hot and bothered, you know, talking about it. But uh, I like how he underlined it, the best braking system. It, it's, it's funny, man. This is, uh, and I agree with him, like the, uh, you can't beat it. You guys just can't beat it. So carbon exhaust, this is going to be interesting. Um, it's really going to come down to what I can make fit on the chassis. So I'm going to try to work with this company. 
Um, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge. I may have to get their pipe, cut and modify, and just rotate the cones without actually tweaking the dimensions of it. And uh, that right there is, is going to be just like the Banshee project that we just finished. So it's a lot of just cut and fitting because, yes, that pipe works on that dirt bike, but putting it on a trike, it's going to be a little bit different. But I'm, uh, I'm excited to see how that works. All right, guys, so right here, back to the engine. So I'm going to completely tear these down. We're going to be brand new gasket seals, O-rings. Um, the motors we do have, they, uh, I was told they were rebuilt already, but you guys know how that goes. I've never taken a motor apart that was rebuilt and was perfect. So crossing my fingers, all the parts are there and they're good. But right here, he wants everything Cerakoted. It's it's just going to look killer, man. It's, uh, you know, he even, he even named off the color. He wants Cobra Black. Has the part number for the color. Uh, again, I've never had somebody do so much research on a build for me. It's, it's really awesome. All right, guys, so let's move on to chain sprockets. Um, so right here, you can see, he, again, he picked it. He's got it figured out. Renthal fat bars, we've got the Renthal sprockets front and rear, and of course the gold chain. He's a smart man. I'm glad he went with the gold chain. It's gonna match all the gold accents on the bike. It's uh, it's really gonna come together. But it is cool how he uh, he has everything laid out right here, right down to the right down to the dual compound ATV grips with the red on the ends. He's he's got this thing dialed. Looks like he named it the Il Bambino. This is a, I guess, a breakaway of all the bits and bobs. And it, it is funny, guys. You, you hear us say bits and bobs in some of the videos. Bits and bobs started when we got the package for the Kajiba. Alex and I were actually going through all the boxes. I'm pretty sure the guy wrote spare bits and bobs in this box, or at least it said like frame plus bits and bobs. But... I guess unboxing number two is happening. Got a little train going on here. Dude, that looks heavy, whatever that is. All new bits. All new bits. Bits and bobs. No, no bobs, just bits. <laughs> nope, yeah. no bobs, just bits. Dude, I love, I want to talk like that forever. That's awesome. <laughs> Pretty funny. Um, we, we've been saying it ever since. I think I say it like three or four times a day. But uh, yeah, guys, I mean, this this is the breakdown. This thing looks killer. Um, there's, it's obviously going to be slightly different, but in terms of all the, the main components, he, he nailed it. So, super pumped on this build, guys. Can't wait to... Uh, get the next video going, get the frames where we want them, and uh, just start building. So stay tuned to the channel if you guys like Kajivas and you like two-stroke builds. We've got tons of cool stuff coming in the future. So hoping to make Alberta a dream come true on this build. We're actually building two of these. Originally it was one. We're going to, he hit me up. He's like, I wanna make two of these that match. So we're gonna do it. So I know you're wondering where am I? This is my home garage. We finally got everything set up here. So we're gonna have a bunch of future videos like this, just talking about future projects, future builds. Um, we might even dabble into business and, you know, I, I'd like to more or less get back to you guys and, and start talking about how you guys that are getting into the industry or some of you maybe want to even just start a repair shop, working on motorcycles, ATVs, all this fun stuff. I've been doing it since I was 17 years old, I'm 35 years old now. So it's, uh, it's one of those things where I think we can, uh, possibly start a, a different version of this channel and, uh, engage with you guys differently. Stay tuned for the next video of the, of the Kajiba builds. These things are going to be absolutely unbelievable. They're getting brand new frames built by us. It's, it's really a dream build come true. So if you guys like two strokes, you guys like the modern trikes, you like seeing the Sierra 500s, all these cool builds, the Banshee trike, um, that video is killing it. I really appreciate all the feedback on that, guys. It's, it's really cool just to, I guess, work on something for about six months and really see it actually turn out the way we wanted it, the way we hoped. And I can't wait to get, get some riding content out for you guys. But if you guys are excited about the Kajivas, comment, let me know. If you've heard of the Kajiva, let me know. If you haven't, um, maybe we can try to do a little bit more research on the company. It's, uh, it's really cool getting to work on something different. So hope to see you guys in the next video. Definitely uh, subscribe to the channel. We've got tons of cool content coming up. So we'll see you guys in the next video.